my dad's absolute lack of presence and effort. Adele had an extremely complicated relationship with her father, Mark Evans. It caused her so much emotional pain, but when Mark passed away, people couldn't help but wonder if he and Adele have ever been able to repair their broken bond. So what exactly happened between Adele and her father? What was the relationship actually like while she was growing up? And did they ever reconcile? Let's get into it. When Adele was only three years old, Mark left her and her mother, Penny Atkins. He moved to Cardiff, Wales, where he started working as a plumber. But even though Mark was only a two hour train ride from Adele, he almost never tried to be an active father. Last summer, Adele made a guest appearance on BBC Radio 4's Desert Island Discs. She revealed that her mom had raised her on her own. For Adele's entire childhood, Mark was pretty much completely absent. Adele explained that when she was young, she desperately wanted her dad in her life. But when he made plans to pick her up for a visit, he barely ever showed up. And when he did show up, his visits with Adele were seriously disappointing. Adele claimed that her dad would usually bring her somewhere, which she really looked forward to. But they would only be out of the house for about half an hour. Then Mark would drop Adele off at home before disappearing yet again. Adele said that even when she was around Mark, she never really felt like he was actually paying attention to her. She couldn't figure out why her father had basically abandoned her. But Adele had no idea that her dad was hiding an incredibly dark secret. At the time, Adele was too young to understand that her dad was dealing with a lot of personal issues in his life, but by far, the biggest challenge was his extreme substance dependency. Mark was really struggling with his substance use, which is part of the reason he wasn't a present father, but Adele didn't know what he was going through and was so hurt by his lack of care and effort. Just a few weeks later, she finally had enough. Adele admitted that although Mark had barely been in her life, she still kept trying to form a bond with him. When she was 12 years old, she even planned a Father's Day surprise, but sadly that turned out to be her breaking point. Adele revealed that she had traveled to her dad's hometown to surprise him for Father's Day. She had even talked to her Nana who told Mark to make sure he was there. But when he failed to show up, Adele made an unbelievable decision. Adele had tried for years to connect with her father. For a while, her mother had even tried arranging visits between them, but when Mark let Adele down on Father's Day, knowing full well that she had traveled to see him, that was it. Adele totally cut ties with her father and refused to meet or talk to him. After being hurt by his absence for years, she no longer wanted to have any contact with him. And what happened a few years later was honestly unreal. When Adele was 15, she saw her dad at her grandmother's funeral. He wanted to apologize and tried to have a conversation with her, but it turns out that she wasn't about to give him a chance to explain himself. Adele felt like her dad's attempt to apologize was too little too late, so she completely shot him out. But nearly 10 years later, Mark tried to get back into his daughter's life in a very unexpected way. In 2011, Mark was interviewed by The Sun. He confessed that he'd been a terrible father, mainly because his substance use had taken over his life. But when he explained how severe his dependency had actually been, it was downright shocking. Mark claimed that he regularly consumed a crazy amount of substances for years, and he wasn't sure how he even survived. Believe it or not, he was supposedly drinking about two gallons or 7.5 liters of adult beverages every night. Mark said he felt so much shame about his substance use and lack of connection with Adele. But at the time, he wasn't able to stay sober and didn't want his daughter to see him in such a hopeless, unhealthy condition. Mark truly believed that staying away from Adele was the best thing he could do for her. But looking back, he realized that abandoning her, especially during her childhood, was extremely harmful. At the end of the interview, Mark said that he loved his daughter and he always would. But he also suggested that his failure to be a present in Adele's childhood was the reason for her relationship issues as an adult. It was a bizarre observation for Mark to make, especially since the interview was published for millions of people to read. He didn't know anything about his daughter's adult life other than what he'd read in the press or heard about from family members. Unsurprisingly, Adele was absolutely furious. She told Vogue that she had actually been thinking about reaching out to her dad, but when she found out that he had publicly commented on her life, 
she had a total change of heart. Adele was upset that Mark thought it was his place to speak about her life and relationships. I don't exactly blame her since she had stayed pretty private about her personal life. Adele also slammed Mark for agreeing to do the interview in exchange for payment. She was in disbelief that he would talk about her in the press just for a little bit of money, and she claimed that she would never speak to her dad again. After reading how hurt and angry Adele was about the interview, you'd think Mark would have stopped publicly speaking about her life. But a few years later, he found himself in hot water again for another seriously astonishing interview. In 2015, Mark spoke to the son again, but this interview was even more startling. He claimed that he and Adele had secretly reconciled two years earlier. What he said next was honestly ridiculous. Mark also revealed that the tense situation between himself and Adele was allegedly just a misunderstanding. Supposedly, they worked through everything in 2013 after he announced that he'd been diagnosed with bowel cancer but his final sentence in the interview was incredibly suspicious. Mark claimed that he and Adele were absolutely fine. He didn't want to make any additional comments. It seemed like such a weird thing to say after years of openly talking about himself and his daughter. Before long, Adele set the record straight. She denied that her father's statements were true and explained that she hadn't even spoken to him in years. And just in case, Anyone still believe Mark, Adele made it loud and clear that he wasn't a part of her life. During Adele's acceptance speech at the 2017 Grammy Awards, she thanked her manager, Jonathan Dickens. She told him that she loved him like a father figure before adding that she didn't love her real dad. It seemed like there was no hope for Adele and Mark to ever make amends. In May 2021, news broke that Mark had tragically passed away due to his year-long cancer battle. A lot of people were curious about whether or not he had spoken to his daughter before he passed. Later that year, Adele finally revealed what had really happened. In November, she was interviewed by Oprah Winfrey for the TV special Adele One Night Only. She explained that even though she understood that her father's absence was mostly due to his substance use issues, it still hurt her a lot and that pain had insanely huge impact on her. Adele claimed that not having a present father made her obsessed with giving her son Angelo a family that stayed together. But after trying to make her marriage to Simon Konecki work for a long time, she finally called it quits. Adele confessed that she felt like she had failed her son by filing for divorce because of her troubled relationship with her dad. But once she started healing her childhood wounds in therapy, she made a surprising discovery. Adele realized that the abandonment she felt from her father caused her to struggle in every romantic relationship she ever had. She'd always loved her partner or hurt them before they could hurt her or leave her. Adele had never truly known what a loving, healthy relationship was like until she met her current boyfriend, Rich Paul. But even though her dad had caused a lot of pain in her life, she wanted to feel at peace with him. So in 2018, Adele made a shocking decision. After she learned that Mark was really sick, she decided to meet up with him in Wales. It turns out that they got along extremely well. Adele couldn't believe how funny her dad was. And over the next few years, they slowly rebuilt the relationship. Less than a month before Mark passed away, he and his daughter had a seriously moving Zoom call together. Adele admitted to Oprah that her dad had only heard her debut single, Hometown Glory. He hadn't been able to listen to any of her other songs because it was just too painful for him. Adele revealed that she and her dad finally forgave each other during the call. Then she played her then unreleased album, 30 for him, in its entirety. She even explained that his absence and the pain he had caused her had inspired her to write the song to be loved. Not only did Mark manage to listen to his daughter's full album and her comments about it, but Adele also claimed that his favorite tracks were her favorite as well. Adele told Oprah that the call helped her and her father heal. They finally felt completely at peace with each other, but what happened next was honestly bizarre. According to Rolling Stone, Adele had a strange, uncontrollable reaction when she learned that her father had passed away. She claimed that after letting out one cry, she felt unbelievably calm. At that moment, Adele felt like her childhood pain was totally healed and her younger self was finally free. She understood that as difficult as her dad's absence was when she was a child, his substance dependency was what kept him away. It's so crazy that Adele and her father managed to go from feuding or not speaking all the way to having a peaceful relationship. I think her ability to give him and learn who he was without substances 
was amazing, but it sounds like it also really helped her heal. Adele and her father clearly went through so many ups and downs before they reconciled. But now I'm curious, are you surprised that they managed to forgive each other before Mark passed away? What are your thoughts on how drastically Adele and her dad's relationship changed over the years? Let me know in the comments below.